One last example of electrolysis is the electrolysis of water. Now, water can be decomposed into hydrogen and oxygen. It's actually the first chemical decomposition that took place. And it's actually how they were able to figure out that the formula of water is H2O. You can collect the hydrogen and oxygen gas that you produce in test tubes because you can actually carry this out at room temperature. But you need to add an electrolyte like sulfuric acid, which already has hydrogen in it, in order for the water to conduct electricity. Because remember, water is a terrible conductor of electricity. And to get water to split, you need to throw something in that will conduct. You wouldn't throw salt in because then you would undergo electrolysis of the salt. And that's a whole different scenario. The hydrogen is going from plus 1 to 0. The oxygen is going from minus 2 to 0. So the oxygen, O minus 2, is being oxidized to form diatomic oxygen. Balance the Brinkelhoff. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. So 4 electrons are lost. The hydrogen goes from plus 1 to 0. Balance the Brinkelhoff. 2 times plus 1 is plus 2. I need minus 2 to cancel that out, so 2 electrons are gained. So can you see what's happening here? The hydrogen is going to be force-fed electrons from the battery, and the oxygen will have its electrons stripped by the battery. Okay, so here's the setup. We've got H2O in here that's ionized, broken up into ions. We have the DC power supply hooked up to electrodes, and the electrodes pass through test tubes. And these test tubes can collect the gas. They're filled with water up to the top, and as gas forms, the gas bubbles up and pushes the water in the tubes down. Electrons come off the negative end of the battery and into the positive end of the battery. The electrons hang out on the negative electrode, attracting the, negative, attracting the positive hydrogen to them. At this electrode, the two H plus ones gain those electrons coming down and turn into H2 gas, which bubbles up and forms hydrogen gas. And hydrogen gas collects in this tube. Then on this end, the negative oxygen gets attracted to the positive electrode, where it has its electrons forcibly removed and sucked back up into the battery. The oxygen gas forms and then bubbles up. How much oxygen? Well, the formula of water is H2O. So when we decompose that, we're going to maintain those proportions. We're going to have twice as much volume of hydrogen as we're going to have oxygen. Two times as much hydrogen as we have oxygen. Why? Avogadro's hypothesis. Equal volumes of gas will have the same number of molecules if the temperature and pressure are the same. But because there are twice as many molecules of hydrogen as oxygen, hydrogen will occupy twice the volume of oxygen. And based on this, they were able to arrive at the formula H2O. It's a 2 to 1 ratio of hydrogen to oxygen. This is how hydrogen can be produced for making things like fuel cells, source of hydrogen. This is how you can make oxygen for rocket boosters. So that's electrolysis, using electric current to decompose compounds into their original elements.